Oh yeah, what's going on guys? Infamous Beats. Lately I've been trying to variate my style a little bit and experimenting a little with the EDM music and especially Melbourne Bounce. This is one of the very first tracks that I come up with and um, I'm gonna actually break it down pattern by pattern and show you what it looks like. For the samples and the drop and everything I've actually chopped up um, an audio file, an interview which I will show you how to do in SliceX and then I've imported all these little clips that you see here and uh, I'm gonna play them all and then I'm gonna give you like an overview of the beat and how I came up with it. So let's start with pattern number one which is basically just a kick. Pretty hard kick and uh, I'm actually played uh, the pattern and uh, this is what the bass looks like it's typical Mambo Browns, as you can see. That's where the kick kicks in. And then there's the bass, obviously, and uh, you get that really nice, like, bouncy feel to it. And uh, for the EQing and everything, I've added um, the side chaining as well. And this is how I did the side chaining with this kick start right here. So I'm going to play actually only the bass and let you hear what it sounds like. Pretty heavy, pretty nice bass with a kick. All right, and then we have, well, I guess we have the clap too. Sooner or later, yeah, there we go. It's the clap, kind of like a, it has a, a snare-ish feel to it. I like this one. And then there's this arp that I've used in the, in the build kind of and then in the hook as well when the when the beat drops and everything uh this is um actually an arp that i've used in south in silent one with uh, superstar all getting it it's a pretty nice arp and as you can see from this one the the notes will be repeated in the melody as well so this all fits together nicely There we go. I've chopped it up right here to make it like slow down and speed up a little bit. And you know, switch things up. There we go. And then we go on to, this is the main part right here. I mean, pretty much just the whole thing is made up by this freaking thing right here in the silent one. And uh, this is what it looks like. And it sounds hard, let me tell you, man. The whole thing by itself, it's like, it has like a Timmy trumpet feel to it. Like he uses this really fucking heavy synth and I really like that dude. And uh, so yeah, this is what it sounds like. There we go. And uh, the way I actually made it sound this nasty is by using this effects right here, this effector module. And then I also automate it and then I change it. So this is what it sounds like. It actually makes quite a lot of difference. So this is what it sounds like without. As you can hear, it sounds pretty shitty by itself. There's a huge difference. And then this is with the effector on. Sounds... Sounds so much better with the effector on. And the cool thing about it is that you can actually automate it as well. If you like uh, click down here and then for example if you change around with the presets and everything. Let's see, let's try this out. <laughs> As you can hear it's changing and then you go to view uh wait no never mind then you go to tools less tweaked and then create automation clip and what that does is it will pretty much allow you to change this as it goes so to create like some really cool automations but i think now i kind of fucked it up there we go 
This is our EQ edit right here. Taking out some of the bass to let the bass shine through and then taking out some of the high end as well because it was kind of like screeching up here. But if you ask me, it kind of sounds like a, an electric guitar and that shit hard as fuck. Then we go on to this um, kind of like a closure high twerk block sound right here actually let me turn down the velocity on this one because it sounds pretty high there we go there we go so this is like kind of like a closure to the bar right before the, the next drop then we have this uh, ride which I just used at the beginning of things and we have this then that's when the the build with the claps start so it's like around this part right here that's where it starts like going hard and you know building the whole thing and then it goes into the, the drop right here and then there we go and then it goes this is the part where it gets crazy so yeah this just goes ah, shit. so this is the part where it goes like chopped and faster and faster and faster and then it goes to silence wait actually let me put some panning on change things up a little bit there we go this way it will pan from left to right nicely there we go all right so now let's just go like this changing things up a little bit there we go there we go and there we go all right then we go we could also change the velocity a little bit. Nah, never mind. It's okay. Let me hear what this sounds like. Okay. That's pretty nice. And then we go on to the samples. So these are the samples for you English speaking audience. I'm sorry, but you're not going to understand pretty much anything that this guy is going to say. But for the Italian audience, which I'm actually explaining in English, so there's not gonna be that many people watching, but never mind. Um, anyways, this is what the sample sounds like. It's like a basic. Basic sample and uh, it's just speech. And uh, here the interviewer is asking um, one of the black blocks in Milan, why would you light a freaking bank on fire? And uh, you know that kind of stuff and it's pretty crazy but you know um this is how i actually did it um let me pull out slice sex pretty much i've just um gone on the desktop and uh, clicked on the on the file and dragged it in here and uh, this is so yeah as you can hear like this is the right. so now um, to actually chop this shit up you just select the part that you like by dragging here clicking on the mouse ah never mind sorry there we go and then to just add this to the to whatever the playlist or anything you want you can just click on this and then keep it clicked and this will actually take this sample and then you can just drop it in and then this is what it actually does then you have the sample by itself and then you can drag that sample in here so you just go like this, and, drop this here, and you have it right here 
There we go. And this is how it plays by itself. There we go. So that's how I actually imported all the different clips and everything. And uh, I'm actually show you now on the playlist how everything looks like. All right, this is how the the track is laid out by itself. Um, this is how it starts. It starts off pretty mellow and everything, and uh, and then it goes like into um, a slight build. Slight build. What the fuck is that? Well. Um, then the instruments start stacking up and then here it like filters in this arp and then there's like the super hard lead and then it goes into the build and then guess what comes after the build the draw that's right so um this is what the whole track sounds like uh i've added like kind of like this down filters and uplifters and that kind of shit like that and you can hear it in, in the track when it plays. And then there's also different different samples. And then this one too. And then also this one. Which means kinda I could I guess you could translate it in like turn up kinda. Thing. Not really. But yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is what the, the track sounds like. I've added like some automations. Uh, for example, I've automated the, the effector on the drop synth, as I said before. And then I've added um, this uh, filter, the volume filtering and everything for for this ARP to come in more gradually instead of just, you know, just chucking it in there. And then this is what the whole beat sounds like. I hope you like it. Uh, subscribe. I got more stuff coming, more trap beats as well. More as well like EDM trap beats and then some other Melbourne Brown shit. And, you know, I'm trying to expand as much as I can to get as much money as I can as well. So if y'all help me out, I'll help you out. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe. Che senso ha? Mica, ma la banca è... Bordello. 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 Se non do poco alla banca sono un coglione. So yeah, that was like a, um, a quick preview. This is like a minute and a half that I did. I'm actually put the, the whole finished track probably for uh, sale, actually. So yeah, on my SoundClick and SoundCloud as well and on Facebook. So yeah, this is how I did it. I hope you like it. If you don't, oh well. I'm out. Lego!